a National Geographic action book. A pink cockatoo unfolds his wings. He raises the long feathers on top of his head. Now he looks bigger and more colorful. This is one of those books that someone has made as a pop-out book. I've always thought it would be fun to make one of these books, but I haven't tried yet. Cuckoo, goes the cockatoo. He bobs his head up and down, then moves it from side to side. The bird is showing off, or displaying. I have some chickens clucking in the background here at home. They are also showing off. If you listen carefully, you might be able to hear them while I'm reading. Why do animals show off? The cockatoo is not doing this just for fun. It helps him find a mate. Animals often use their colors, sounds, and actions for display. Showing off helps them send messages. Hmm, just like us. They're trying to talk to each other. These blue-footed boobies are showing off that they like each other. The male parades by lifting his bright blue feet. Up and down they go. His mate bends her wings and stretches her neck way up. They are courting. A fox looks out from the bushes. A porcupine waddling along is startled. <gasps> up go the quills on the porcupine's back. The sharp quills could hurt the fox if it gets too close. The fox quickly disappears. You know, a lot of people think that porcupines can throw their quills, but that's not actually true. If you get close to a porcupine, stay far enough away that they can't touch you and you'll be just fine. They don't see very well and they don't move very quickly. They are very, very shy and he'll probably just waddle away. But if you get too close, he will, th he will whack you with his tail and that's when the quills get stuck in your skin. So stay far away and you will be just fine. When an IO moth spreads its wings, two bright spots on the wings look like the eyes of a bigger animal. This can scare an enemy away. Ooh. <gasps> look at those eyes, isn't that pretty? Have you ever seen a moth or a butterfly that has what looks like eyes on its wings? Maybe sometimes, especially towards the end of the season, you'll see them with torn up wings where something has tried to take a bite and, um, and has only gotten a little nip of their wing. Sometimes the butterflies do it to themselves because they get in fights with each other and they slice up each other's wings. It's pretty amazing. Spots on its back that look like eyes help keep this little caterpillar out of danger. Aw, oh, look at that. Woo, that does look like eyes. That looks like a snake. Peeking out from under a leaf, the caterpillar wiggles. Is it a snake? A bird that sees it might fly away. The frilled lizard plays a trick that may frighten an enemy. It opens its mouth wide. Hiss. It also spreads its big collar of skin called a frill. Something alarms a baby owl as it snoozes on a log. The owl's eyes fly open 
fluffing up its feathers, whew, it makes itself look bigger than it really is. This way, the owl may fool the enemy that has come near. I saw a baby owl on a tree one time, and it was sitting there watching me, and suddenly I heard Mama who at it, and the baby owl folded itself down as tightly as it could onto the, onto the tree branch, and it looked for all the world like a clump of moss. If I didn't know where it was, I wouldn't have seen it at all. I would have just thought it was some moss. <laughs> Sometimes these pages get a little old. But wait, the lizard's bluff didn't work. Down goes the frill. Watch the lizard skedaddle on its back legs. <laughs> skedaddle. That's a fun word, isn't it? Skedaddle. It just means run really fast. Skedaddle. <laughs> Gorillas are big, but they are usually shy. They live in family groups. If another creature comes too close to their home, the leader may stand up and beat on his chest. Pook, 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 pook. This loud sound may frighten other animals away. I think it would frighten me away. It would be pretty cool to sit and watch them, though. Like that scientist, Jane Goodall. She had a really cool job. And she's a really smart lady. If you ever get a chance to see her, I would listen carefully. A lioness creeps up on a mother elephant and her baby. The mother swishes her ears and snorts loudly. <laughs> she is warning the lioness to back off or she will charge. A hippopotamus stays in the water most of the day. It looks threatening when it opens its big mouth and shows its tusks. Sometimes a hippo sinks down into the water, almost out of sight. Large animals often avoid fighting by showing off. They just try to make themselves look big so that everybody will leave them alone. That's why cats fluff up their fur, is to try and make themselves look bigger and meaner than they possibly are, can be. Stay away from my nest! Two male puffins signal each other. Both open their striped beaks and display their mouths and tongues. Blah! 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 Two male stag beetles are fighting for a mate. They use their sharp jaws, which look like antlers. One beetle tries to grab the other and flip it over. Hee <laughs> hee! Over you go! Lots of animals do that when they're fighting. They wrestle. They don't actually hurt each other. They just wrestle each other and flip the other one over. And then while that one is flipped over and busy, then the other, then the one that, the winner goes over and says hello to the one, to the beetle that it wanted to have as its mate. A male moose can look so fierce he may scare another male away from his mate. They're pretty big. They're really big animals. Really, really big animals. When he shakes his head, his big antlers look even bigger. Then he will snort loudly and the hair along his back will rise. Largest of all birds, the ostrich stands taller than a man. When it is time to find a mate, male ostriches fight for a female. Flapping their wings, they dance around each other. <laughs> That's a fun dance, isn't it? You know, they can run really fast, too. They're one of the fastest animals, running animals. Night has come. It is time for a male rush frog to go courting. 
he puffs up his throat and sings. A female can find him by following his voice. From the leaves, female fireflies send signals with their tiny lights. Males flying by spot the females by the pattern of the flashes. They flash back and fly down to join the females. Oh, I forgot to pull this one. Oh, look, fun. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> Golden toads live in a rainforest in Central America. The males hop among the leaves in a puddle of water they have shiny, bright skins, and a spotted female can find them easily. Listen for the chirping. Oh, boink, boink, boink. <laughs> Listen for the chirping of a male cricket on a summer night. By rubbing his wings together, the male asks a female to join him in a tree stump. Oh and they show a centipede inside that tree stump. <laughs> Ooh, did you see that? Here we go, let's do that again. <laughs> the peacock, the biggest show off of all, right? <laughs> Um, a male Siamese fighting fish has made a nest of bubbles at the surface of the water. Fluttering his fins, he swims to his mate. Oh, and there's a snail. She will lay eggs that he will place in the nest. A peacock spreads his long feathers like a fan. He is trying to attract a female called a pea hen. Where's the female? I can't see her behind his, oh, there she is. Yep, little tiny female up here in the corner next to the peacock. Hen and cock. In most birds, or at least in, the, in birds that are um, in the fowl family, um, they are hens and cocks. Hidden behind shells and seaweed, a fiddler crab waves his big claw. <laughs> a female picks up his signal. She races over to him in the water and on the land. By day and by night, animals are always showing off. What does this one do? Oh, look at that, it's a little praying mantis. A praying mantis is what's called a lie-in-wait predator. They hang out waiting for something to go by and then they snatch it. But sometimes they, they move very slowly until something goes by and then they can move really, really fast. And because they can move slowly, they can sneak up on something. So that one snuck up on us, didn't it? All right. These are lists of all of the people that were involved in making this book. That is a lot of people for one book. There's an illustrator and a director, paper engineers, I think those are probably the artists. That is a lot of people. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope that you will join us again. Outdoor Education Adventures is a nonprofit outdoor science program based in Yamhill County, Oregon. If you enjoy our programs, please support us by following and liking us on your favorite social media outlet. 
To discover all of the programs we offer, please visit our website at outdoorededventures.com. Outdoorededventures.com. While you're there, we hope you'll consider making a small donation. Most of our funding comes from supporters like you, so please show us your appreciation of the work we do by making a donation today. To purchase a copy of the book we shared today, please contact your local bookstore. By shopping at your local stores, you are keeping your community economy sustainable and resilient. Thank you.